Hi, my name is Carla McCoy. I'm the organizer of Little Feet Repeats, and this is the video tutorial for consigner logins. Now, this tutorial assumes that you already have a consigner number and that you would have already signed up for that. So if you have not done that, please go back and watch the video tutorial for new consigner registration. Because as I said, this tutorial assumes that you already have your consigner number. Now, if you have never consigned with Little Feet Repeats, but you have your consigner number, I would love to help you out with that. First of all, come check out the website at littlefeetrepeats.com, or you can get there by going to mylfr.com. Come up to Sellers, and you can come and find out the introduction to consigning. Lots of wonderful information on the website. The important dates that you need to know as a consigner how to get your login information, the tagging guidelines, very important, lots of good information in there, and how to register. So, assuming you already have your consigner number, we are going to come over here and click the consigner login link, and that pops up, this pop-up, when you're going to log in using our consigner number and password. That's already filled in for me now. All right, now this is my consigner homepage for Carla McCoy. As you'll see, this homepage has lots of information listed right here. You can see that it shows that I'm registered for this event. It shows that I have signed the seller agreement and it shows that I have paid my consigner fee. It shows that I have not selected any drop off shifts yet, but it does show that I have signed up for one volunteer shift so far. It also lists my estimated earnings and has a link to view my sold items. Both of these items will become um, available during the event. Every evening during the event, generally pretty late into the evening, you can come here and you can see an updated total of your estimated earnings and click here to see a list of your sold items. Now, keep in mind that this, that this total shows 60%, the base percentage. If you've done any volunteering or any referring of other consigners that gets you a higher percentage back on your sold items, it will not show here. That is something that is done manually after the end of the event. For this link, it is just going to show you the 60% and your additional percentages will be figured out at the end of the event. All right, so we can come over here and we need to pick a drop off shift and this is so that we can drop off our items to consign. So we come over here and select a drop off appointment. This pops up this page that lists the drop off appointments that are available. I can choose one that says open. The full ones are full and I cannot choose them. And if I have more than 150 items approximately, then I should cho choose two shifts. I can't choose any more than two shifts, but I should choose two if I if I have more than 150 items. Now you can see when I click sign up, sign up, it just came right over here and listed it up here. Now I can come up here and I can sign up for another as well. And it says I signed up for it and I will get an email confirmation that says this as well. Now if I decide that something happens and I need to change my schedule, I can come over here and I can cancel the appointment. All right, and then I come back, and when I'm done here, I can just go click to re return to consigner homepage, and I'm back at the homepage, and it lists my drop-off shifts. Now remember, this is a drop-off appointment where I will be dropping off my consigned items. All the clothing has to be on hangers, it all has to be tagged, and it has to be ready to put out on the sales floor. Toys must have batteries, everything just must be prepared for the shoppers to come in. Now, if I want to volunteer so that I can get a higher percentage back on my sold items, plus shop earlier before the public, then I would cl click over here and click volunteer to work. Now, here is the one shift that I have already signed up for. I can come over here and sign up for another shift. And it says I've signed up for that. And once again, I will get email confirmations for that. Now, very important. If I need to leave a shift, if my schedule changes and I need to drop a shift, I must click leave shift. If the system, if you need to leave the shift after the system is already locked, as it gets close to the event, the system will lock and will not allow you to leave shifts. You must either call or email. If you do not show up for a shift, you will not be allowed to volunteer with Little Feet Repeats in the future. We rely heavily on our volunteers. 
All right, now you want to begin working with your consigned items. So you come over here and click Work with Consigned Inventory. And now we are on the consigner item entry page. This is very simple. I just come click with work with my consigned items in my active inventory. As a new consigner, you will not have any inactive inventory. That would be inventory that you would have from an old sale. You won't have any of that. So I will come click over here and click my active inventory. And here is my inventory that I have so far. So far I have nine items in here for a value of $22. Now if you look here, let me go ahead and put something in. I can say I want girls clothing since I'm a mom of three girls. That's generally what I have. Let's say a size 2T. Let's say it's a Gymboree short set. And let, let's say it has purple flowers as well. I want to be as descriptive as possible. I'm going to go ahead and price it at $8, and I only have one of those. Now, if I want to discount it on 50% off day, so that it's if it's still around on 50% off day, it would be sold for 50% off, then I check that. If I want to donate it to the local charities after the event, if it's remained unsold, then I would check, click, check here to donate. Now, if I am going to donate it, please, I'm going to discount it as well. Because getting half price would be better than getting nothing at all, in my opinion. So if you're going to donate, please check discount. But it's up to you on every single item you get to choose. I click Submit Item, and it comes right down here. Here's my Gymboree short set with purple flowers. It has 2T, price of $8. I can click Edit, and I can edit the price. Let's say I want to change it to $6. And I would update that. Now, I'm welcome to edit any price in my inventory. However, if I have already printed the tag for this item, I must reprint a new tag. We cannot take any tags that don't have the same price in your inventory that are on the tag. And if you'll notice, there's only five items listed here. If I want to see all of my items in the inventory, I just click this box right here, and it will show all of them. Only showing five saves your computer. It makes it quicker. For when you have hundreds and hundreds of items listed in your inventory. Now if I'm finished, I can say I'm finished for now. It takes me back to my consigner item entry page. Let's say I'm ready to print my tags. So I can come over here and I can print all tags or I can print selected tags. Let's say I'll print all tags and it pops up the tags. I print them out on white cardstock paper, cut them out and attach them to my items. And let's go back then to my consigner item entry. I can also come over and click print selected tags. And I can print an inventory report. And I'm going to do that sorted by price so that it goes from smallest to largest price in there. And I will take that with me to the event. That's essentially how it works. Those are your consigned items. And you make sure that they stay in your inventory during the event so that your items can be sold to the public. You can also come here and view your sold items so that you can see what's sold throughout the event. It's really fun. Alright, and when we're done we can say that we want to close that window and we're going to go close all of these out and we're going to go back to our consigner home page. So now we see that our consigner home page, we see that we're registered, we have our drop-off shifts, and we have our volunteer shifts. We'll go back to the littlefeetrepeats.com page. And once again, a quick reminder, please go over to view all of the information at the seller's link. All right, my name is Carla McCoy. This video tutorial is complete. If you have any questions, please go to contact us, fill out this information, send it to us in an email, or give us a call at 368kids. Thank you very much, and happy consigning.